Lucas Media. I was watching Gills Arena, and pretty much overall, they feel like Bronny will prove them wrong, meaning the the haters. Because what, a couple of days ago, Bronny signed a four year, eight million dollar, pretty much eight million dollar guarantee deal with the Lakers. And also, news came out that he won't actually be playing majority of the time with the Lakers. He'll be playing in the G League with the. Is this a, south bay lakers south shore lakers y'all let me know in the comments but brandon first i saw brandon jennings he, oh, well brandon jennings kenya martin gilbert arenas all of them said they don't have a problem with it right because you see nepotism all the time and i have to agree with that in corporate america you see nepotism when i worked in the factories you see nepotism i it's 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 rampant honestly and if you're in a position of power to get your son to the NBA, to the same team, 99.9% .9 of y'all would do it, honestly, regardless of what other people say, especially if that's something that your son wants to do. But, you know, Gilbert did say that he feels like Bronny will get better the G League than he will in college. And also, you know, the, the cast was saying that they feel that LeBron will teach Bronny, you know, just the little things as far as like, you know, how to sleep and how to eat, how to train and, you know, how to survive an 82 game uh, season, which is a, it's a lot, that's a lot of games, honestly. You know, my overall thing is we don't know if Bronny will, pull, will prove people wrong because, you know, it was rushed. And we, we, we got to be honest. Bronny was rushed into this because, you know, LeBron's looking at his time. He don't know how much time he got left. And while he's a healthy 39, he's still a healthy 39. You know what I mean? Like, you, things can happen. I just messed my hand. I'm a couple years younger than LeBron. I just messed my hand up a couple, couple weeks ago lifting weights. Never messed my hand up at all. I had to go to the doctor and everything. And my hand is just now getting better. But before that, you would have never happened. So, you know, you you one play away, you one dunk away and landed wrong from your season being over or even career. So, of course, they're trying to rush him in. And like I said, J.J. Reddick said he earned this. And, you know, Bronny struggled at USC. Honestly, he struggled at USC. Now, you could blame the coaching, but I mean, just when he was out there, to me, to me, he looked outmatched. And you could, he just, he looked like a freshman, a college freshman amongst grown men. I mean, some people say it's spacing and all of that in, in, in the league, but they are about to be coming at Bronny. It don't matter if he's in the G League or they call him up for the NBA. They're going to be coming at him on, on all accounts. So we don't know. We don't know how, how he's going to be. But I just think it's funny that, you know, the the lakers and and everybody else they just want to act like that this part isn't true let's just let's just keep it real but as far as like winning and you know just like i said a couple of days ago the days of the lakers winning is over if lebron's on that team they're not winning nothing because who wants to come to that when every question is going to be about Bronny? you know what i mean and then you got your own coach in there and we i'm sorry we've never seen it this blatant in nba history have y'all to where you you literally seeing people buddy up now you can argue um what was that jerry kraus went to tim floyd's wedding is that how that happened with the Bulls? Something along those lines where they was pretty much uh, getting things set in place prior to the Bulls winning their sixth championship. But as far as from a player standpoint, a player standpoint where you literally start a podcast, your coach gets fired. And then all of a sudden, the person you start a podcast with who has no experience of coaching, no high school coaching, no college coaching, no NBA coaching, just off a podcast. Now you look up and he's the head basketball coach of one of the most story franchises of all time. Where does that happen at? Now, if y'all want to be mad at nepotism, y'all need to be mad at that. But like I said, Jeannie Buss will do anything to keep her golden goose LeBron. But, you know, I feel I really feel bad for the Lakers fans. I really do. I really do. Because that team is 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 terrible. Honestly, it's terribly ran. You know, the last I seen two Ross video a couple couple days ago as well. Kind of like the last great ride was with Kobe. And even then with Kobe and stuff, you you, you was hearing rumblings with the front office of, of and who was running it and all of that. So, ah, wow. I mean, <laughs> like I said, I don't have a problem with it, but I understand why, you know, players are don't, they don't they don't want to be a part of this. But we'll, we'll like Gil's Arena's cast said, will Bronny pull people wrong? We don't know. Prove people wrong. We don't know. We don't know. Honestly, he might go out there and shock me and be a solid NBA player or he really might just fade off into the sunset. I won't be surprised either way, but I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.